everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before uh, we get into some NHL action for November the 21st, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section right here, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So we have a pretty full slate of games for uh, November 21st. We're going to get into the what we feel is the most important games for the day as although the games are still relatively early in the season you know teams want to try to separate themselves from the Packers as soon as possible so let's get started with some of the games Boston and Tampa Bay first game we want to look at as we scroll down the list is Edmonton and New Jersey you see the Oilers are ice cold down at the moment they are two and four over their last six games while the Devils are burning hot they have won their last six and the Devils so far are uh, topped in the Metropolitan Division, while the Oilers are fourth in the Pacific Division. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Edmonton has been involved in games over in four out of their last six, and New Jersey has also been involved in games in over four out of their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that New Jersey is at plus 31, while Edmonton is at plus 20. If you take a look at the score prediction, all New Jersey 5-2 with confidence in prediction of about 39%. Um, let's take a look at the stability factor. Volatility officer, this is an important thing to note. Although New Jersey is only moderately stable at zero, Edmonton has been very inconsistent at minus five, so it's best to avoid betting for them. So what I'm going to do is take New Jersey. I think this is going to be a pretty easy win for them. New Jersey at home by at least two goals. Carolina and Winnipeg. The Islanders at the Maple Leafs. Here's another interesting matchup. Right now, the Islanders heading to play third in the Metropolitan Division, and the Maple Leafs are first in the Atlantic Division. So if we look here at the Islanders, they are average status at the moment, coming off of a loss, and they are 4-2 and two over their last six. While Toronto is average down at the moment, they are also 4-2 and two over their last six, coming off of a 5-2 to two loss to New Jersey. The score prediction has Toronto in a tight one, 3-2 to two with confidence in prediction of about 54%. On the power ranking indicator chart, you can see both teams are on an upward trend. New York was at plus 25, and they have upped to plus 29 over the last week. And you can see uh, on the 12th, Toronto was at 17, and they are now up to plus 25. If you take a look at the stability factor, you can see that uh, the Islanders are more stable, more consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. I would consider them moderately stable at plus 2 while Toronto is at zero. In the end, I like the Islanders. I think I'm going to go the Islanders on the road. With a little bit of an upset, I like the Islanders on the road to win by a goal. Anaheim and St. Louis. We're not going to take a look at that one. And we're not going to take a look at Arizona and Nashville. We are going to look at Colorado and Dallas. Dallas comes into play with the top record in their division, and in the Central Division, and... Then we have Colorado, they are third. Colorado right now is burning hot, winners of five out of their last six games. While Dallas is average, they are three and three over their last six games and two and three over their last five. If you look at the over-under, you can see Colorado over in five out of their last six, while Dallas over in all six of their last six. Good indication of a high-scoring game coming up. Although the score prediction has it only three to two in favor of Dallas, but with only 50 well, a little under 50% level of confidence in the prediction. The power ranking indicator chart shows Dallas was at plus 26. They dropped over the last couple of days at plus 23. While Colorado was on the increase over the past couple of weeks, um, but you can see they dropped over the last few days from plus 23 down to plus 18. Again, we like to look at the stability factor. How consistent are the teams performing with regard to their favorite underdog status? You see that Dallas is at plus uh, four at the moment. They were at high as plus five. While Colorado has not been very consistent all year, see they were sitting at minus one for a while. They got up as high as plus two, and now they are at plus one. In the end, though, I like the Stars at home to win. I'd say a goal, maybe two goals, Dallas to win the game. Ottawa and San Jose. The last one we'll look at is Vegas and Vancouver. Vegas comes in first place in the Pacific, while Vancouver is second from the bottom. You see that Vegas is average up. They had lost two games, uh, but they rebounded 
4-1 over Arizona. They are 4-2 over their last six games. While Vancouver is coming off of a win, they are 2-4 over their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see that Vegas has been under in two out of the last three, but four out of the last six have been over the line. Vancouver has been involved in games over in five of the last six. The score predictor has Vegas 4, Vancouver 3, with confidence in prediction of about 57%. Uh, the power ranks indicate not a big surprise that Vegas is much higher than Vancouver, plus 26 compared to plus 3. The consistency factor, not, again, not a surprise. Vegas has been very good all year, and they have been consistent, plus 10 on the stability factor. And Vancouver has been pretty consistent as well at plus 3. I really don't see much of a contest here, even though Vancouver is at home. They might make it close for a while, but Vegas will win. Uh, by a couple goals, and this will be a high-scoring contest. So there you have it. Those are the games for NHL for November the 21st. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.